So you are all welcome to class once more. Let's settle down for serious business. Please, I hope we have all muted ourselves. Don't forget our grand rules. In this course, we are expected to mute ourselves. Hello, let's mute ourselves. So we are going to have an interesting class today. We are going to be looking at the different types of libraries. Some of us were in class last week. I just tried to make us realize the importance of being in class, taking you through your course guide and what is expected of you in this course. That was what we saw last week. This week, we are going straight and hitting the nail on the head. We are going to be looking at today types of libraries. And you will permit me also today to share my screen. So if you may not be seeing my face when I begin to share the screen, so that's why I'm asking you to permit me to share my screen. You are all welcome. Very, very welcome. Thank so you are, you are going to, we are going to be looking at the types of libraries. I am, um, of course, uh, you may not be looking, see my face as I've told you, so that we can quickly go through what we have. Types of libraries, we are going to be looking at types of libraries. Your facilitator once more is Dr. Angel Ebele Okpala from National Open University of Nigeria. So the objective, the intended learner's outcome for this particular course, at the end of the day, you should be able to know what a library is. That you should be able to know that a bookstore is not a library. Give a brief history, at least know the background, a brief history of the library, identify characteristics and functions of academic libraries, research libraries, school libraries, public libraries, national libraries. So we are going to be looking at all of this. Now, what do we mean by a library? In fact, I think I should even allow you to even try to define a library before we go on. Let us make this class more interactive. So please, can we try, make an attempt. I hope some of, some of us are, you have already started looking at. I'm going to stop sharing so that we can. Good afternoon. Yes, we can explain. Good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. Um, yes. To my own explanation, I, hello. Yeah. Hello. I'm listening. If you want to speak, you raise your hand and then we'll go on. Who is, who is addressing us? We, what's your name? Who is addressing us and what's your name? Good afternoon to you all. Yes. Who is addressing us? So tell us your name. Good afternoon. This is Kelechi Wali. Okay, Kelechi, welcome. Thank yes, you. what's it? Thank yes, you. define a library. Or just tell us what you understand to be a library. Okay, a library can be defined as a place where books are kept for reading. Mm, it's not just enough. Good. Are you telling me a that your, your, your room is a library? Because sometimes no. we keep our books in the room for reading. No. Is, have you, you've not said anything to distinguish it from your room. In my room, I have books for reading, and yet it's not a library. 
Hello? Okay, can we have another participant, please? Hello? Hi. Yes, let another participant help us out. Please? Yeah, who is speaking? Good afternoon, uh, Pastor Solomon, please, we don't want you to share your screen. Pastor Solomon, Solomon, I, I, I did that you. You are sharing your screen, please. Stop sharing your screen. Good afternoon, Pastor Solomon. Ma. Yes, I'm listening. Okay, this is the word of fortune, ma. Yes, yeah, speak on. Okay, from my own understanding, can you hear me, ma? I can hear you. Okay, from my own understanding, a library can be defined as a place or an, an organization where mm. resources are made available for reference or borrowing purposes to help educate the masses or persons who intend to learn. Where yeah, resources are made available. Yes. Say it. Let's hear you for properly. Reference. Okay, a library is a place or an organization where resources are made available for reference or borrowing purposes to help educate the masses or persons who want to learn. Thank you. I like that. I like that. At least for reference. Thank you. Or for borrowing purposes. Borrowing I like that. Purpose. Good. Do you have any other? The last person, please. One more, one last person. One last person should define. Ma, can line. it be me? Can it be what me? Good afternoon, Okay. Otudio, you are the last person now. Okay. You are the last person to contribute. I want us okay. to be sensitive in this class. Let's pay okay. attention. Okay. You know, we are trying to distinguish a library from yes. the reading room at home. Yes, ma'am. What the last person told us was a little bit different from what the first person told us. Can we understand it? So we are going somewhere. Okay. Now other person may declare that. Yes, ma'am. Reference purposes for okay. borrowing. And then that is not done in your home. It's not done in a bookshop. Yes, it's not done in the reading room. Yes, Okay. Yes, ma'am. So whatever you are going to yes, be saying on, you should yes, be able to wish it from what okay, you, what a yes. You should distinguish it from the bookshop or your reading okay. room, any or uh, your your whatever room you use, you know, during your study or your study room. Yes, so please, yes, okay. or do do abasi. Can you try to abasi. define a library? Don't copy what is yes. in your notes. Yes, it's almost. Don't. Okay, <laughs> okay, ma. A, li a library, a library means book. A library means book. It is an organized collection of resources made accessible to a defined community for reference or borrowing. Huh. Oh, <laughs> like you are reading from your course material. No, guys, you are reading from the course material. The library means book. No, you know, no, you know no, I'm no, wait, wait, now we are supposed and to read before. It's be, supposed to... Library cannot mean book. Can, can, mm -hmm. we, can we have someone? Uh, uh, I want peace, peaceful peace, peace to make the contribution now. This is Queen, but I want peace. <laughs> good peace. Uh, good. peace. Good yes. Address us. Good afternoon. Um, okay, well, to my own understanding, a library is a building or a room containing different types of books. And sometimes we have them um, themes and recorded music for you. You said it's a building, right? Yes. Hello. Yes, uh, can you can you can you repeat yourselves? It, it, just let us have it again, please. A library is a building or a room containing different types of books. 
and sometimes you have things or recorded music for you for the public or the institution. It's not too bad, not too bad. Now you have all given your definitions of library. You, 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 some people see it as a room. Is it always a room? Are you saying that if there are no four, if you don't have a room like this, it cannot be a library. You can't have your library in the computer. You just go anywhere, you carry your library about. You just go outside, you click on your, your system, and then you, 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 you are online, you know, browsing your library. Are we saying so? Eh? So it doesn't necessarily have to be a room. Do we understand it? It can be library without walls, library without borders. Do we understand it? Eh? Good. So now let us go back to my sharing this slide. We are going back to the lectures. Fine. Thank you for your contributions. Please lower your hands, your electronic hands. Let's move back to, to class. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, I try looking at the different definitions of a library. And I brought out these unique features such that whatever, however you define a library, you will see it as either a physical or a virtual space that has collection of information resources. Of course, collection of information resources, it is either a physical or a virtual space. These resources, resources that are organized by experts using classification schemes. It is not organized, it's not a library. They are stored, of course, and made available to a defined community. You see, all of these features must be, uh, must be your definition to make it a library. Hello? All of these features must be present. It's a library can either be physical or virtual. And it also is a collection of information resources. If there, if there is no information resources, then it's not a library. These resources, they must be organized. If it's not organized, then you are talking about those books in your room or a bookstore that is disorganized. They have, and this, you are, they have to be organized using classification schemes. Stored and also made available. If they are not readers, it's not library. You just keep them there, you have no readers. Nobody's having access to them, it's not a library. I hope we are understanding each other now. So these features have to be present in your definition. Okay, so let, let us move on. Let's move on. So I'm going to, I'm showing you now a, a beautiful future, uh, futures of what it can look like. Look at this person here now. You can see that this one, he just, he just, did you see any book around him? No, all these books you are seeing, they are all virtual books. All he has before him, he just his laptop. You can see it, it is stable, and yet he's accessing the library. Yes, it's assessing the library because the library here is without walls. It's virtual. It is a library without borders. So it's still a library. Okay? But look at, look at this one here. This one, you have the physical building. Just like you have the physical building for National Open University of Nigeria. So some libraries can be virtual. Some can be physical. Now we are going to be looking at the different types of libraries. What are the different types of libraries? Basically, there are five types. We have, uh, in fact, I'm sure some of us have read this. If uh, we can actually answer these questions, that says, we have academic libraries, you have the research, special libraries, the school libraries, the public libraries and the national libraries. My esteemed students, 
What can you say about an academic library? Yeah, what can we say? Can somebody tell me, just before we go into the lecture, again, what can you say? Can we please discuss what you can see, the futures of an academic library? I don't, I just want, don't begin to look at anything. Just what are the features of an academic library? I just want you to be free. We are just in a class. We are friends. We are discussing. Okay. What are the features of an academic library? Have you, first of all, have you seen an academic library? Yes. Please raise your hand. Blessing is ready to address us. Let blessing address us. Raise your electronic hands. I hope you know how to raise your electronic hands. Eh? You just see some reactions. Now, Blessing is going to be addressing us. Let's all be attentive and listen to Blessing. Blessing, yes, we are listening to you. Okay, academic library are the one we found in, like colleges and universities. And from my own personal experience, it's for references and research. Beautiful. That is it. I don't think I need even any further uh, answers. I like her answer. Eh? Good. Let somebody else tell us. Because we listed about five of them. Eh? If you are answering now, you will tell me another type of library and tell me how you will identify that library and what unique future about that library. Good. Before we Good go afternoon, on. Yes, who is addressing us? Good afternoon, ma. Oh, Busayo is the one addressing us. Yes, Busayo. Yes, good afternoon, ma. Research good library. Afternoon. Research good. library. Yes, ma. Good. Research good. library yeah. is the library that we went for a research. Maybe when we are in 400 or 200 level that they went for research. Like they will give us our from uh, uh, this into IT, like IT. So we went for research. You know, maybe you should go to Ibadan. You should go and research for something and all that. Well, that's not very, very clear because the research library, you know, you can also carry out research in the academic library. We are all, please, let's listen. Because she has said something, yes, it's meant for research, but even then it's beyond that. Hello, we are Hello. teaching ourselves. Okay? okay, we are learning from each other. She has said it's meant for research, the research library. But I am also putting it to her that even the academic library, to a large extent, is, is also for research. Okay, but there okay. is a unique future about that kind of research library because that is what we want to pick. That kind of research library that we tend to be a special library or a research library has a unique feature that distinguishes it from the academic library, such that when you see it, you will know that this one is a research library. It's not an academic library, even though they still carry out research in academic library. Yes, let's have somebody else answer now. Let's have somebody else. Yes? Who is addressing us? Good afternoon, man. Good afternoon. My name is Kafila Ganeo. Good, Kafila. I want yes. to talk about this academic no. library. No, I want somebody um, else. Sorry, yeah. this, you know, the research library, rather. Good, good. thank you. So the research library is not just for only research. Because hello, ma. Can you hear me? Yes, we are yeah. hearing. Okay. So that is the that research library is also for um, is a special library too. Because just anyhow first cannot just go there. Okay. I it's for journalists. Hello, Yes, it's for who? Journalists. So you can't just go there and take any book without having one or two interests on their books. So, 
yourself except you are asked to do so please yes i think at this point let us go on with the lecture okay i'm um, sorry all the people who have their hands up you can you can just uh, lower your hands so that i know you have an idea somebody has said in that research library they carry a research but it's different from the the um the academic library because they have researchers with homogeneous interests in any research library it's only one interest if it is agricultural library only agricultural uh, researchers will go there if it is an um, uh, engineering library only people that in in that field will, will patronize that library so they have homogeneous Client. Unlike the academic library, you have people, mass comm students, you have uh, political science students, you have all sorts of people with different diverse interests going to the academic library. But for that special library, only one homogeneous group of people, clients, okay? That's it. So let's move back to, to the uh, slide. We just quickly go through the, the slide once more. Yeah, I'll, I'll, please I, I permit me to, uh, to continue with uh, sharing. This time around, I'm going to move very, very fast. Okay? Yeah, Rosemary Chinwe, please lower your, your hands. So we have these different types of libraries that are very unique. Okay? Yeah, academic library. You can see the Catholic University City, Washington, D.C. is an academic library. National Open University of Nigeria is an academic library. Those are examples of academic library. If I ask you now, the library of a um, uh, 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 University of Abuja, you will tell me it's an academic library. It's established in an academic institution. Usually the idea, you can look at the functions. They take care of academic programs by providing materials for academic programs, okay? So basically, and then they carry out research and so on and so forth. So you have, you have the research library now, which I told us, if you look at this one, it's an, a Canadian assertion of law libraries. You see this particular one, this particular library can be said to be a law library because law library is also categorized. You know, as some people will say, law library is not, law library can be an academic library, law library can be a research library. Okay, so you can see that this Canadian Association of Law Library is seen as a research library. Have you seen it? So you, if this is a research as it is a special library. Why? Only lawyers for law students and for lawyers. Only you see it. And then this is a special library. And when you look at some of the functions of these um, libraries are unique. If you look at this, this research library, although current awareness services, you will still find it in other libraries, but these ones, they, they pay special attention to some services like selective dissemination of information for their clients will get there good. So that is for research library. 
You know, I have tried. I'm sure you have all you have answered this. So we are not going. We are not going back to it. I've tried to. We have even distinguished between academic and the research library. So you have done this. We are going to carry on with our the lecture. Then you have again the school library. You have the school library. You you wonder why is it different from the academic library? We differentiated academic library from school library. Some authors will not be two together, but in this place they are different. When we talk about school library, we are talking discussing the libraries that are located in secondary schools and in primary schools. Please mute yourself. I muted everybody, and some people have unmuted themselves. Mute yourself. You are disturbing the class. Okay. So I hope you are you are hearing. Good. So right now we are differentiating academic library from the school libraries. I have said for the academic library, you have it located in tertiary institutions. But for the school libraries, you have the school libraries located in primary schools and in secondary schools. And of course, their functions are not exactly the same. If you ask me, the school libraries will only support the teaching and learning of pupils, And of course, it will be based on the school curriculum, the scheme of work for the school. The school libraries, one, one very important role they play is that they help the children to so, so they foster reading habits in children. They help them to develop good reading habits. So they have programs for them that will help to foster good reading habits in them, such as establishing reading clubs and so on and so forth. So that is a school library. You know, we have tried now to distinguish it from academic library by saying that their roles are different from the academic libraries and by also saying that they are located, the school libraries located in primary schools and secondary schools, while the academic libraries are located in tertiary institutions. So we, uh, we, uh, about, we also have the public library, the public library. Yeah, we have the public library. Now, the public library, let's be yeah, a little attentive. What we are just doing is trying to differentiate these libraries. We are trying to distinguish them. Now, the, the public libraries are located in communities, in local government areas. They are located for the public in communities. Okay, they are neither located in the school environment or tertiary institutions or primary uh, institutions. They are located in the communities. And they are meant for all types, categories of users. Very interesting. They are meant for all categories of users. And if, of course, if a public library is meant for all categories of users, including illiterates, they have to also play some very unique functions. Some of the unique functions are repackaging of information. Of course, they, they, they have to repackage information. Can you put, just mute yourself? You're making the class noisy. Very noisy, I wonder. 
And I, I will meet them, they will unmute themselves. You have forgotten the grand rules. And that was because many of you were not in class last week. That's why we are disturbing the class today because we started, we started by setting grand rules. Now we are looking at the public library. And I have said that unlike the academic library, listen, because these are the way I ask my questions. Unlike the academic libraries and the school libraries, the public library is located in, in the communities, not in any school, school, not in any tertiary institution. They are located in your communities and they are meant for the public, for different types of users unlike the, the, the uh, special library where we said that their users have homogeneous interests unlike those special libraries and unlike the university libraries where you have different categories of uh, uh, people although all students and researchers but in different fields so you can see that in, in some people are still omitting themselves to disturb the class you are still omitting yourself to disturb this class you, to, you will unmute yourself Please, if you are not interested in this class, leave the class. It's becoming noisy. Good. Now, as I was saying before, I was, would I say, rudely interrupted by those who decided to omit themselves. The, the public library has some unique functions. For instance, is people that are coming in late and please if you are coming rosemary in late, is disturbing us to rosemary let rosemary rosemary mute yourself rosemary Chinye, mute yourself i muted you you are mute yourself mute yourself rosemary do you want us to remove you mute yourself and don't unmute yourself again Oh, As I was saying, if anybody disturb us here now, we will remove you from this platform. Leo. Thank you. So I was trying to distinguish the public library from the school library, from the academic library. And I said, they are located differently. The public library you will find in your communities, in local government areas, you will find them. And then the public library, again, you see that they repackage information. They have different categories of clientele. You have elderly, you have the youths, you have the children, you have the educated, the literates. So you have the illiterates as well. So there is a need for, for information to be repackaged in, into indigenous languages for the illiterate consumption. And the different other things like trying to foster reading habits in children, because you have children, you try to cater for everybody. That is for the public library. Then we also have the national library. We have the National Library. I don't know if we have tried visiting the National Library of Nigeria. This is the National Library of Nigeria. This is the picture of the National Library of Nigeria. What do they do? The National Library is... It, it I see my, my Rosemary is not helping us. Okay, should we remove her now? Is she still disturbing? Yes, Excuse me, mute yourselves. Yes, ma'am. If, if you unmute yourself again, I will remove it's you. Not to remove. I will remove you. Okay. Okay. So, for the functions of the National Library, why is it unique? 
It's unique because it serves as a legal deposit. And I want to explain now what I mean by legal uh, repository. Please, I keep muting you. You keep, you keep. Uh, please stop, stop on muting yourselves. Okay, the National Library it serves as a legal depository. First of all, I want us to know that it serves as the nation's memory. It's part of it. All publications from generated from the nation. Three copies of it must be deposited in the National Library. As a law, that is what we mean legal depository, such that is preserving the publications of the nation. And also outside all the evil publications about the nation published outside are also gathered in our legal depository. So the, that is the function of the National Library serving as a legal depository for the nation. It serves a parental role also to other libraries, giving, of course, you know what a parent will do, giving direction, sharing ideas, correcting. It serves a parental role. We can consult them for a, on any issue. Then it's also responsible for the national bibliography. Of course, they they will also they issue also ISBN and and um, ISBN ISSN. And other nations have different roles, but most of the roles are very similar. Basically, they serve as the nation's memory. So that is the national library. Remember their roles is very different from what you have just said. Most of the resources in National Library, they are for reference. You don't go there and tell them you want to borrow a book. They are likely to decline. Their materials are basically for reference. Okay. So now we have looked at, I want us now to discuss, we are, those of you that came late, we want to we want to discuss. Now I'm going to stop sharing so that we can discuss now. What I just did was just to run through what basically what an academic like library looks like, a special library, uh, a public library, and the national library the school library as well. So I you know in your exam, and you know what I may be asking, distinguishing features, I can just pick a future and I can say this is typical of what's library. And you should be able to tell me, okay? If I ask you now, many of you will meet yourself at the same time rather than raising your electronic hand. I may ask, you know, what library has homogeneous clients? If I ask now, before I even finish my question, Osadalo's hand is up. I don't know whether you even had the question. Are you sure? If I say, if I say what kind of library serve homogeneous, have, you know, their clients have homogeneous interests? And they, they serve homogeneous, of course, clients. What type of library? Since uh, okay, Osadolo okay. has addressed us, Kafilat has addressed us, uh, let us have Matthew address us now. Matthew, please. Uh -huh. What kind of library? Research we are listening to you. Research library. The research and special libraries. Good. Very good. He has answered it correctly. Now, what type of clients do you expect to find in a public 
library. What type of clients do you expect to find in a public library? I'm no longer asking Matthew. This time around, our princess. I like to be a princess. Princess, to respond. Princess, we are listening to you. Yes, princess. Princess. We are listening. She's not even paying attention and she's raising her hand. Unmute yourself, princess. Unmute yourself. Princess. Unmute yourself. Okay, let someone else answer. Adama, are you is your hand up? No. Um Gabriel, Gabriel, answer us. Gabriel, unmute yourself. Sorry. The Good. clients we have in the uh, public uh, library, I think it should be children, adults, uh, both literate and the illiterate as well. Don't you have elderly people? You have answered well. But yeah, you have I, mentioned, I mentioned adults. So uh, I don't adults you might mean youth. Okay, that's fine. But what I mean is all categories of people, all categories of people use the public library. That is a good one. Good. Now, okay, if I say what type of library plays a parental role to other libraries? What type of library plays a parental role to other libraries? Now, uh, let Mr. Suleiman answer us. Mr. Suleiman, unmute yourself and answer. Unmute yourself. Mr. Suleiman, yes. Eh? I did hear you. Somebody is making noise in the background. Mute yourself. So I said you are asked to omit. Yes. National Library. Good. National Library. National Library. Let's assume that Mr. Suleiman, Mr. Suleiman published a book. Let me mute everybody again. Okay, let's assume that Mr. Suleiman published a book and he needs to deposit it in a library. Which library will he go to to deposit his book? Should he go to the visit the library in his community, or which which of them should he go to deposit his book in order to preserve it for the nation? Yes, Mr. John. Mr. John. I'm a miss. I'm a miss, okay, Miss John. Miss John. Yes, ma. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. How so are that, you? I'm fine, ma. That should be National Library. Good. Good. National Library. Good. Now, finally, uh, where do you expect to have reading clubs? In, in which libraries do you have basically organizing reading clubs? What type of libraries less do you think will be organizing reading clubs? And why? And why? Yes. Um Mr. Best, can you answer? Mr. Best. Ma, I, I, don't, I just came late and um, I want to know the topic we are treating today. Sorry, ma. 
Ah, so I should start from the beginning. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. No, no, ma, that's not what I'm saying. I'm only saying, I'm only saying she just told me the topic. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Can we now, you know what you do? Catch up. Watch the video. I will have, I have the videos uploaded and this class will also be uploaded. Ebe Rechiku, can you answer, please? Ebe Rechiku, address us. Unmute yourself. Eberi, unmute yourself. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I came in late, but I think so far I've followed the class. I think it's that. You came late and you are raising your hand. So put that in your electronic hand. Like this, like this, like this. Uh, put down your electronic hands. And don't come late next time. Okay, ma. Adam, ma, can you answer or mute yourself? Adam, ma, or mute yourself. Adam, ma, or mute yourself. Adam, ma. Yes. Friend. Okay. Adam, Ma, is not there. Ma, please, can you, um, can you mute everybody? I've been doing that since they they keep on muting themselves. I and I say no. Ma, please, can you repeat the question because there was noise in my background. Ah uh, ah. Uh... I thought your hands, you raised your hand. Eh? So I asked what type of library hmm? will be organizing reading clubs. And why do you think they should organize reading clubs? Yes. Yes, some people are, are, are answering via their chats. Some people are giving me very interesting answers. Yes, I'm listening to you. Okay, can someone else answer? Can someone else help her out? Can someone else help her out? Um, Gloria, Gloria Bassi, help her out, please. Gloria Bassi, help her out. Gloria. Yes, ma. Help her out. Can you hear me, ma? Okay, school library, ma. Well, why? Hello, ma. And I said why? why? To, to encourage them to be effectively and study. Eh, to foster their reading habits, to help them improve, develop vocabulary, foster their yes, reading habits. Of course, we have to catch them young. Well, it's not only, it's not only, excuse me, it's not only, it's not only um, school libraries. Can it be only school libraries? All of you that have your hands up, are you ready to answer? No, ma. Yes, okay. Ma. Not really. It can't be. Who is speaking? It's Okamaka Favor. Okay, Okamaka Favor, yes. Academic Library. So, like, I can also say National Library. Like, well, for what National is... Library is good. They, they even organize what we call read campaign, try to catch them young. Do you understand? National libraries can actually plan, yes, organize reading clubs, you know, through their read campaign, they can do anything too. Good. What other library? I'm still waiting. What other library? Yes. Uh, public library. Uh, uh, the public library. Public li uh, library. Public library. Yes, you do not say we have different categories of users in public library. Yes, yes. 
We say so. We have we also have children in public library. So you have to organize the reading clubs for them. Okay. So now that we are <laughs> done with this class, but I think I'm sure cool. you people now understand that there are different types of libraries and they play different roles. So you go and read up, browse it, you have your resources. I also have resources embedded in your learning and learning. So I expect you to go and read up. Now, do you have your questions? Let's entertain your question for the next three minutes, just three minutes more. Do you have questions? If you have, if you have questions, raise your hand or lower it. Or lower your hands. Okay. Yeah. Questions, please. Oluwa Sanya, Oluwa Sanya, please, yes. Oluwa Sanya, where are you? Yes, Mama. Okay, please. From... Yes, what's your question? I don't have much question right now, Ma. Okay. But when you are taking the class, I was really enjoying the class. But I wanted to answer some of your questions. But it seems like you only call those people that you are familiar with to answer yourself. Yes. I'm going to be familiar with uh, 7,000 students. You almost uh, have 7,000. I will not be familiar with Eli Wallet yet. This is our second you, class. You know the name. No, uh, their, names, okay. their names are on display now. Just as I mentioned yours, your, 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 all your names on this page. So that's why I mentioned okay, it. Well, so I wrote to, my I'm hand like twice, so. Okay, okay, uh -huh. ask, ask your question now. Is it Owuji talking? Who is speaking now? Hello? Okay, let me have Owuji ask her questions. Owuji. Owuji, please do ask your questions. Uh, good afternoon once again, ma. Good afternoon. Uh, ma, please, I just want to know, uh, where is this personal library located? It's in central area. Do you want to visit? Anyway, you can actually go and visit. I don't want to have an idea. This is central area. Do you know Reese Continental Hotel? It's, a, it's around the Greece Continental Hotel in Central Area, around NMPC Towers. Just ask questions. Okay? Yeah, any oh, other question? Hello, ma. Hello. Okay. Hello, ma. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma. Who is speaking? Tell us your name. Gospel of Joseph. Gospel of Joseph. Okay, Joseph. Please, ma, up, question. Please, ma, up this uh class will, the video will be uploaded because I just came in now and I don't know if you are going to upload it so that I'll be able to go through it. Is it our fault that you came in just now? I'm sorry, my dear. That's what I'm saying. I didn't know. Okay, no problem. I sent you all mails. I sent you emails. Okay. Okay, okay. I will still upload it. Of course, I will upload it yeah. okay, at the end of the class. Oh, I'll download so all of you with the electronic hands. Your hands will have been paying you. Raise lower your hands because we are, we are ending this class now. And I hope to see us again, same time next week. Don't wait for me to send you email. I expect more than 95 participants. Ma. Today we had up to 95 participants. Next week, I hope that you'll be more than 95. On that note, I am saying bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Bye bye. 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 Bye